IPTV comes in many forms. It can be confusing if you're not familiar with the term. IPTV can also become a bit of a minefield when you factor in the legality of some services. And in this video, we will look at the different types of IPTV you can get and the pros and cons of each. Let's go and take a look. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. If you're unfamiliar with the term, IPTV stands for Internet Protocol Television and refers to streaming and watching TV over the internet rather than by satellite, aerial or cable. It means you can watch TV not just on your television, but also on your mobile, laptop, computer or streaming device like a fire stick. As I mentioned at the start, IPTV comes in different forms. And in this video, I will talk about three different types. Free IPTV, legal IPTV you pay for, and IPTV services that are illegal. Now, it may surprise you to hear that there are hundreds of IPTV services that are entirely free. Some of them you might even have heard of, such as Pluto TV and Plex, but they don't usually advertise themselves as an IPTV service. Pluto TV, for example, doesn't advertise anywhere on its website's welcome page that they provide IPTV. You can see wording like free TV and watch free, but never mention IPTV. Pluto TV and others are typically referred to as streaming services instead. So what kind of content do these free streaming services offer? Let's stick with Pluto TV as an example. Pluto TV offers over 100 live TV channels covering everything from movies to sports, cartoons, entertainment and music. You can get the Pluto TV app from any app store on iPhone, Google Play, Roku, Amazon Fire TV and more. Then you can open the app and start watching TV with Pluto immediately. You don't need to create an account, sign in or log in. You've got various categories listed down the left for different interests. Then you have a TV guide so you can see what's on each channel. And it's designed to emulate the experience of traditional broadcast programming. As you scroll through the lineup, you can see that you won't usually find your regular free-to-air channels such as BBC, ITV, ABC or Fox, and neither will you see any premium channels. These types of free IPTV or free streaming services usually provide their own mashup of channels and content from other providers with whom they have license agreements. Pluto TV have agreements allowing them to stream TV channels that show movies from Paramount, selected content from Showtime, as well as streaming content from AMC. Streaming services, channels and content will vary depending on your location due to differences in streaming rights and agreements. Using a free IPTV service couldn't be any easier. Just pick a channel to watch and it will instantly start streaming, usually in HD quality, and you shouldn't experience any issues with buffering or lag. A nice bonus with these services is that some also have additional streaming content, referred to as VOD, or videos on demand. And in this case, the TV channel I selected on Pluto TV is currently showing the James Bond movie Goldeneye. I missed the beginning of the movie, but that's not a problem. 
With the click of a button, I can watch the movie from the start by accessing it from the Pluto TV VOD library. Check out a list of other free IPTV services on my website. Airy TV, BBC iPlayer, Distro TV, ITV Hub, Kapang, Plex, Relax TV, Tubi and Zumo are just a few examples. On my website, you will find my reviews for each service and details such as where you can watch from, a channel list, and if you need to sign up. The free IPTV services are excellent if you don't want to pay for TV and you don't mind not having access to your regular free-to-air channels or premium networks. But you will need to pay if you want a TV service that allows you to watch channels such as A&E, ABC, BET, ESPN, TLC, Discovery, Hallmark, MLB, NFL, NBA and more. Paid TV services are a more attractive option to cable or satellite as there are no contracts, no installation or cancellation fees and no special equipment is required. All that's needed is an internet connection and a device to stream with. Plus, you can stay in control of your subscription by cancelling whenever you want. So, what is a legal IPTV service? Again, just like the free services, they actually avoid using the term IPTV. They will usually refer to their service as a streaming service, premium live TV streaming, or live TV experience. Some of the most popular legal IPTV services are Fubo TV, Philo, Sling, Vidgo, and YouTube TV. You can check out more details about each of these services on my website, firetvsticks.com forward slash IPTV hyphen reviews. So what content do these premium live TV services offer and how much are they? Philo is one of the cheapest, which starts at $25 per month with a seven day free trial, so you can fully test out its offerings for free. Their channel lineup is available on the website and includes A&E, AMC, Animal Planet, Bet, Discovery, Hallmark, History, MTV, Nickelodeon and Nick Jr, Paramount and TLC. With this service you can also get unlimited DVR cloud storage where you can save live TV recordings for up to one year. If you're a sports fan you'll notice that Philo's channel lineup lacks in that area. In that case, the YouTube TV or Fubo TV services may be more attractive to you. YouTube TV, for example, has over 100 channels that include the Big Ten Network, CBS Sports, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, Fox Sports 1, Fox Sports 2, Golf Channel, LAFC, MLB Game of the Week, MLB Network, NBA TV, and NFL Network. Streaming services, channels, and the content will vary depending on your location due to differences in streaming rights and agreements. You can try YouTube TV for free with a two-week trial. Plus, you'll find various offers throughout the year, such as a discount on your first three months of service. The regular price is $64.99 per month, and remember you can cancel at any time. Legal IPTV services usually have their own app available on all major app stores. This can be installed on most devices such as Roku, Chromecast, Apple TV, Smart TVs, PlayStation, Fire TV and Android devices. Some services offer both live TV channels and videos on demand. For example, Hulu plus live TV 
has over 85 top channels and full seasons of exclusive series, hit movies, current episodes, premium Hulu originals, and more. Legal IPTV services can be pretty expensive, especially when you add the cost of all of your other streaming services like Peacock, Netflix, Disney+, sports subscriptions, and the purchase of the odd pay-per-view sporting event now and then. This is where illegal IPTV services become an attractive option for some people. Most services offer thousands of live TV channels that include every premium network, every sports channel, every sports service and sports network, and every pay-per-view event, plus thousands of videos on demand with the latest movies and box sets. And they can offer users all of this for less than $20 a month with no extra costs or fees. Price is one of the main ways to tell if an IPTV service is legal. If a service offers all of that for just a fraction of what you'd usually pay, it's 100% going to be an illegal service. And these services are illegal because they don't have the correct agreements or rights to broadcast the live channels on their service. You can also tell whether the service is legal as the illegal ones tend to use the phrase IPTV. Nevertheless, with legal services being so expensive and an annual inflation rate reaching 9.9% in the UK this year, which is almost the highest rate in 30 years, many people are feeling the effects of the rising cost of living. As a result, some users will inevitably turn to these illegal options to save money. You can check out more details about these types of services on my website, firetvsticks.com forward slash IPTV hyphen reviews. I hope this video has helped to give you some ideas when considering your IPTV and streaming options. Let me know which legal, free, and paid services you use in the comment section down below. It will be interesting to see which ones are most popular and give other users suggestions with other services I haven't covered in this video. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.